Is there any male, female brain differences? Let me ask the girls. Is there any difference between our brains compared to the husband's brains or to the male's brains? Is there? Yes. What about the males? Did you discover that there was a difference or is there a difference between the males and the female's brain? Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, there is a, a, a very much big difference. And because of those differences, it resulted to a, either a happy marriage or a discontented marriage. Actually, the choice is yours because life is what you make it. If you enjoy married life, then congratulations. Let's see some of these differences. Last night, Last night, I was here. I was observing the group, and I saw that males were seated separately from females. And during the group discussion, I observed that the males were more quiet than the females. During the discussion, oh my, the ladies were enjoying sharing, no? sharing with one another. But I was looking at the males, they seemed to be very serious with what they were talking about. So I said, that is one example of a difference between the two. Look at this. Women are better at language talks. Kaya siguro yung bandang kanan ko medyo maingay kagabi. No? Kasi mas marami silang nasasabi. But men are better at organizing things. Is that happening in your homes? Yes. <laughs> Women have 10% to 30% thicker cortical gray matter, while men's brains are larger by 10%. Well, talking about IQ, does that tell us that males, because their brains are larger by 10%, are more intelligent or have higher IQs compared to Females? Okay, nakakatuwa, ano? The male said, yes. The female said, no. Okay. It doesn't matter. No? It doesn't matter. Some females have higher IQs compared to males. Sorry, gentlemen. Okay. Women have balanced left and right hemisphere. Di pa po? Dalawa ang hemisphere natin. Left and right. For women... We have somehow balanced left and right hemisphere. For men, rely heavily on the right side of the brain. Ito, sa right side of the brain. And if you would just see how the brain looks like, there is a difference between a male and a female in terms of the wiring of our brains. Very interesting. Kasi yung mga males, ang wiring po nila, di ba, sa right? So, ang wiring nila, back and forth, back and forth, dyan lang po nanggagaling sa isang mostly on the right hemisphere. But if you would see the female brain, the wiring is a little different. It goes vertically, vertically and horizontally. Yan. That is the reason why females are multi. Yeah. We are better in multitasking compared to our husbands. And because of that, may implication po yun. Hindi ko po alam kung bakit ginawa ng Panginoon na ganon. Is it because of uh, the sin that uh, uh, Eve did? Hindi ko alam kung parusa to o swerte to sa atin eh. Dahil tayo, mas skilled tayo sa multitasking, mas marami tayong responsibilities. Tama ba? Most of you are working. Most of us were working. Di ba? Mas marami tayong ginagawa. Oh, we prepare breakfast, we even prefer, prepare lunch para pag uwi natin, kakain na lang ang ating mga hari, ang ating mga anak. No? We work, we wash clothes while cooking, we 
sweep the floor while washing the dishes. Ang no, dami. Dami ginagawa. Nagpapalaki pa tayo ng mga anak natin. No? Okay. Mister, honey bunchy. Ang dami kong ginagawa. Pwede ba pumunta ka sa store? Ibili mo lang ako ng isang boting suka, isang boting toyo, at saka limang pisong asin. Ano? Dami-dami naman. Umuwi si mister. Ang dala, asin lang. Nakalimutan. Nag-away. No? Well, let us remember ladies, wives, na they brains were not designed for multitasking. Oy, lumalaki ulo ng mga males. <laughs> Kaya nga, ang lesson sa atin dyan, when we want our husbands to run errands for us, get a piece of paper and a pen and write things down. No? So, conflicts could be avoided. Another difference. Women have more progesterone and estrogen. Males have more testosterone. In terms of mental health, women twice as are likely to suffer from major depressive disorder. That is why more women are suffering from depression compared to men. But in terms of suicide, there are more cases of males compared to females. Mas marami lang attempts ang mga babae, pero dahil mahina ang loob namin, hindi natutuloy. Hanggang forma lang po kami. Okay. Pagdating din sa mental hospital, sino ang mas marami? Is it the males or the females? Wala akong narinig na female. Tama kayo? It's the males. No, na mas marami sa mental hospital. Kung mas marami ang suicide cases na lalaki, ganun din mas marami ang nasa mental hospital na lalaki. Look at that. Because men are ten times likely to suffer from schizophrenia. Okay. So alam na natin, mga wives, ha? Hinay-hinay sa pag-utos. No? <laughs> Ay, natuwa naman yung mga lalaki. Nakita ko rin silang umiti. Okay. Women have a larger hippocampus where we store memories. The reason why women can recall every single word of an argument from five years ago. No? Nakita niyo yung description kanina. <laughs> okay. Mas nakakaalala tayo kasi we, uh, we, we have the capacity to store more memory. Ang mga lalaki, they easily forget. Women feel while men use logic. Diba? Men take a more fact-based approach to their environment, often scanning for threats and challenges. Women tend to take a more intuitive approach because they perceive people and events more deeply and with greater memory capacity. So, women are more on feelings. Men are more logics. Well, that, is, that could be one of the reasons why a lot of men are excelling academically. Mas meron silang tiyaga para mag-isip. In terms of technology, na mas, mas ano din sila, mas maraming skilled na males kasa females. Tanggapin na natin yan, mga women. Okay, we also solve problems differently. Men tend to converge in their thinking. They define and clarify the problem and begin by isolating issues. Women often will define the problem in broader terms and examine a wider array of potential factors before going into solution mode. Hindi na paligoy-ligoy ang mga lalaki pag may problema. Gusto nila, ano na, oo, okay, may problema. Ang daipang sinasabi ng wifey. Ang daming sinasabi. Kaysyo kasi, yung kapitbahay, kaya yung anak natin nagkaganito. Tapos yung teacher, ay, ang dami. O, so ano nga? Anong solution? So now, why don't we come up with a solution to the problem? Solution focused ang mga men compared to women. This is why women want to talk out problems and men want to dive right into solving them. It's very good to have a, a little, a, even a little understanding of our differences. Because we want to have a happy home, di ba? So by you know, identifying the differences, by acknowledging our differences, then it would lessen the discussions at home and the conflicts. 
men and women in conflict. Men tend to depersonalize and externalize issues or problems, giving time to think through solutions, often in solitude. Kaya pag yung mga husbands natin, may problema. And what? Nagkaroon tayo ng conflict. They'd like to, you know, they'd like to be alone. Hold on. Give me time. Give me time. Hindi. Pag-usapan na natin ngayon yan. Sana maunawaan nyo rin po, mga husbands, no? na kami kasi talagang medyo gusto namin, talkative kasi kami, when we feel something, we don't, when we don't feel good, gusto namin pinag-uusapan agad. Pero sila, pause, please, give me some space. Hindi. Ngayon na rin yan, pag-usapan. Okay? Men's brain gravitate towards facts and logics, while women's brains are geared towards intuition and emotion. Have you ever wondered no, how our brains look like when we are at rest? Look at the female at rest. And look at the male at rest. Ang kulit ng mga babae, no? Kahit nagpapahinga tayo, hindi tumitigil ang isip natin, ang utak natin. No? Women's brain are more active at rest. That is why women tend to talk after a hard day, while men want to process in solitude. So that's one of the reasons why. No, no, pag may conflict, gusto nilang mag-isip muna, pumunta sa isang tabi, huwag muna tayong harapin kasi pag hinarap tayo, tataktakan na naman natin sila. No? Okay, there are many fascinating facts about the differences between males and females. Number one fact, details. Details and more details. Women develop their prefrontal cortex at a younger age, which is why they take fewer risks as teenagers than males of the same age. There are more teenager males who are involved in drugs, smoking, misbehavior, compared to ladies, to girls. Because of that, kasi dito, seat of decision, di ba, ang prefrontal cortex natin. So, ginagamit natin yan compared, mas ginagamit natin compared to males. Women have a larger PFC and men have a larger amygdala, which means men have more processing power for threats and women have more processing power for details. Aha! We will always have an aha and moment and case studies after each fascinating difference. Women will often include more details in their decision making. They'll verbalize those details during meetings or in conversations. This often is misinterpreted by male peers to mean that women deliberations take more time when actually they do not. May sense din naman yung pagsasalita natin, di ba? Uh, we're just asking for a little time for us to express how we feel. Uh, that's one way how we react to situations and to problems. Uh, males should understand that. Case studies on fact number one. We can use this knowledge to be more productive and more efficient. And here's how to do it. In meetings and brainstorming sessions, leverage women's ability to think through details. Save time for them to verbalize and explain their rationale. Men are great in a crisis. They constantly scan for potential threats and then solutions. Bring them in when you need them most. Wag no? natin silang iset aside. They have good ideas as well. So, uh, if we need solutions to problems, no? let's invite their presence. They could be a big help. Fascinating fact number two, worry warts. Do you know a woman who worries a lot? Or are you the woman who worries a lot? Don't blame her. Don't blame yourself. It's just your brain. May lusot ano? It's just your brain. This all calls down to the worry center of the brain. We have a worry center here. It's the middle part of our brain. The anterior cortex where people process emotions and Arrange memories. Women have a larger anterior cortex, which means they spend more time trying to process emotions. And well, part of that is also we have more time to worry. And because of that worrying, we get depressed. 
Uh, that's the reason why there are many females who get depressed. Women have higher rates of anxiety than men. But in spite of that, we can still handle our emotions. The reason why there are still many males who are brought to mental health facilities because they could hardly handle er their emotions. Men are physically strong. Tama po? Yes, you are physically strong, but we are emotionally stronger. <laughs> Sorry, kaya kakaunti sa amin ang napupunta sa mental hospital. Okay. Aha moment. In meetings, women are more likely than men to read facial expression of people around them. Take the emotional temperature of the room and be sensitive to people around them. Yan. Malas malakas po kami mga babae sa pakiramdaman. Kayo po, minsan, or most of the time, manhid. Ganun din, pagdating sa tahanan, di ba? Mas ano kami, mas uh, expressive in terms of emotions. Kaya, reach out for your wives. No? Hindi nyo lang napapansin, maging sensitive naman po kayo. Hindi sensitive na parang makahinga, makahiya, no? Be sensitive na you can feel what your partner feels. Nako, hahalikan po kayo ng asawa nyo lagi pag ginawa nyo yan. Okay, let's move on. Case studies on this. A woman's anterior cortex can give her great awareness and insight, but also bag down her decisions and distract her from effectiveness. To women, women who worry, be patient at yourself. Use it as a gift. Instead of thinking and thinking that I am a warrior, how can I be successful? I worry too much. Consider that as a gift. To men around worrying women, if you happen to have wives, if you happen to have a wife who worries a lot, please be patient with them and find a way to leverage it. Number three fact, webs versus lines. I explained a little bit about the, the webs earlier. Women's corpus callosum is 25% larger than men's. This means women tend to bounce back and forth between feelings and facts very easily. Men want to think in steps, processing one fact at a time. In other words, men think in straight line, whereas women think in webs, constantly connecting ideas. Men's linear thinking is not better or worse than women's web-like thinking, but it is extremely helpful. Case studies, men are good at focusing, getting rid of extraneous data, and pushing full stream steam ahead. Is that the reason why most of our presidents are males? Maybe, yeah. Women are incredibly good at holistic thinking, contextualizing ideas, Drawing new connections and identifying new factors. Mas pwede pala tayong investigador, no? Compared to the males. <laughs> fascinating fact number four. I only have uh, six fascinating facts. In terms of success and failure, men produce 20 to 30 times more testosterone than women. Men need to replenish their testosterone levels to feel successful. Although men and women both have testosterone, it is processed differently when responding to stress. So we have different ways to respond to stress. Normal levels of testosterone are linked to feelings of success in men. When men face difficulty or failure, their testosterone levels begin to drop and they will experience lowered spirits or even feel depressed until their levels are replenished. This is why men tend to need space after a long, hard day, unlike women. They often do not immediately seek up social support or need to verbalize their thoughts. That's one of our big difference. Kayo mga husbands, kapag nalulungkot kami, gusto namin kausap si kumare or si neighbor or si kapitbahay or si bestie, huwag niyo po kaming awatin kasi need po namin yun eh. No? 
ang men naman, kapag ayaw makipag-usap sa atin, huwag na tayong magmaktol. Kasi need din nila yon. They need some space. Yung malayo sa mukha natin, paminsan-minsan, therapeutic yun sa kanila. Okay. Para naman sasabik-sabik sa atin. Okay. <laughs> men need to give themselves time to rebound. Women need to be patient with men who need time to process. Mas mabagal po kasi silang mag-process. Number five, effectiveness. In both men and women, oxytocin reduces blood pressure and feelings of fear. Another simple word for oxytocin is the happy hormone. No, kailangan po natin yan eh. Uh, to keep us always going in spite of the many things that we do, if we produce more oxytocin, magiging masaya tayo kahit tayo ay nagtatrabaho. In women, oxytocin can increase during a relaxing conversation and decrease to feeling ignored or abandoned. Men also need oxytocin to reduce their stress level. However, too much oxytocin in men actually reduces their testosterone level and then increases their stress. Too much oxytocin causes their stress to increase. So, Dapat hindi rin sobra. Men need a balance of oxytocin. If they had stressful conversation, they often seek solitude or time alone to replenish. Alone to replenish. So let's give them time. Don't force a man to talk it out if he is not ready. On the other hand, men can help a woman who is feeling stressed by letting her talk about her difficulty and letting her process her emotions. Paano kaya natin gagawin, ano? It's a challenge. Men could help us if they allow us to talk. Eh, ayaw nga nila makipag-usap sa atin eh. No? Gusto nilang lumayo, gusto nila ng space. No, both of us should understand the different needs of each one so that there would be lesser conflicts. I did not say, so there will be no conflicts. Because when you get married, if there are singles here, expect that you're not lying down on a bed of roses. Remember, thor, uh, roses have thorns too. No? Ang sarap kaya yung nag-aaway pa minsan-minsan. Nakakamiss yun pag wala. Okay? Huwag lang magbubuntalan. Number six, the last uh, fascinating fact. Stress response. Humans produce cortisol when stressed. It helps stabilize glucose levels and regulates metabolism and blood pressure. Too much cortisol can slow down cognitive performance and make it difficult to think clearly. Studies have shown that women's cortisol levels are two times higher than men at work. And women's cortisol levels are four times higher than men at home. So, mas marami talaga tayong you know, capacity to multitask at home. Oxytocin-producing activities in women work to lower cortisol levels and reduce stress. Happy hormones. Husbands, please don't forget this. No? Kung gusto nyo na ipagluto namin kayo ng masasarap na pagkain at kung gusto nyo na kayo ay lagi namin mahalin, <laughs> Bigyan nyo kami lagi ng attention, ng affection. Kasi yan po ang number one need namin. No? Which is also different from your needs. Your number one need is different from ours. Yours is not affection. Okay. There is a study done that husbands... Uh, let me talk to the ladies. There is a study done that husbands who are always kissed and embraced every day by their wives... Live longer. Nadinig niyan, paalala niyo po sa kanila pag hindi kayo nahahalikan sa loob ng isang araw. Okay. Gusto mo ba ako mabuhay ng matagal? Halik. <laughs> but when you do that, I hope it is with love. Okay? Uh, lesser po pati ang magiging cases ng heart problems. Kapag, no, it's a study eh, na hinahalikan ang mga asawa at hinahag sila araw-araw. Women recover differently from men. Both genders need time to recoup after a cortisol-inducing event. Men need time to help them process. 
Women need someone. Women need someone to help them process. Before I end, why are why I think this topic was included because the organizers feel that we should know, we should have a thorough knowledge of the differences between males and females. Actually, the needs pasana kaya lang my lecture might become too long. There are also different needs. We could not address the needs if we would not identify you know, the different needs of a man and a woman. So that is the reason why you know, this was included in uh, uh, the topics for the retreat. Well, kapag masaya ang asawa, babae sa loob ng tahanan, ang asawa ng lalaki sa loob ng tahanan, you will be producing, you know, good kids. So, let's make each one uh, fulfilled by, you know, understanding the differences. We have to grow with these differences. Differences, also, okay, after listening to this lecture, do you think differences are good? I'm happy to hear that. Difference is also good. All of us have our own strengths and weaknesses. The strengths and the weaknesses would just, you know, complement with one another. It's not good to be having the same personality. Talking about husbands and wives. Mas maganda kung opposite nga eh. Kasi yung isa, introvert. Gusto mo introvert pa rin mapangasawa mo? Ay kawawa naman yung mga anak niyo, wala nang kakausap sa kanila. No? So, it would be nice to have a combination. One introvert and one extrovert. Sample lang po yun. So, differences is good. So long as we know and understand how to deal with it and how to handle it, it will give excellent results. Okay? Before I end, let me share this with you. First Peter 3, 7. Husbands, likewise, dwell with them with understanding, giving honor to the wife as to the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers may not be hindered. Oops. First Peter 3, 1 Peter 3.1 Wives, likewise, likewise, be submissive to your own husbands, that even if some do not obey the word, they without a word may be won by the conducts of their wives. I hope you discovered, if not yet discovered, the differences between males and females so that every home would be a little heaven in AUP and that may all homes be a part of that heavenly home the Lord is preparing for each one of us. Happy Sabbath. Let us know.